Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of GTM Show, and today we've got something new for the breakfast menu at Taco Bell. Now, if you remember last year, the big hubbub was the waffle taco took over the entire world. Everybody couldn't stop talking about it, showing pictures of it. Then they brought it out, and everybody completely shit on it. So here we go, 2015. They're taking the waffle taco off the menu, and they've replaced it with a biscuit taco. Now, I know how many of you had the waffle taco while it was out, but the thing was a, a fucking masterpiece, basically. Everything that you normally see with the food porn, like uh, Food Beast and a lot of the other food blogs out there where they make crazy shit, it's exactly what this was. This was a Taco Bell version of like a double down dog from KFC, something extremely outlandish. And it worked. I had one. We actually filmed an episode where we did all of the breakfast menus from Taco Bell and it went right into the fucking scrap heap because of uh, noise pollution in the background. It was just completely spoiled video. You couldn't hear any of the audio whatsoever. Just taken down by wind because we had shot the video outdoors. So we never actually aired uh, an episode where we reviewed the waffle taco. But here we have the biscuit taco and the big thing for this, which makes no sense to me whatsoever, is that they're not really promoting this for the sausage version or the bacon version. It's the fried chicken version. That's right, Taco Bell now has fried chicken that you can have added. And the special thing about their fried chicken is that it's uh, tortilla chip crusted. Like you see a lot of places doing the Dorito dusting on meats for breading. They've done this with the chicken. So let's crack into this and check it out. This one's got like a, a sausage kind of labeling on there. This one says special. So I'm assuming that this right here is going to be the fried chicken one. Of course, it did come with the, uh, what is this, the habanero honey, or honey jalapeno, some kind of sauce for it. We'll get into that later on. You can also get the uh, country gravy. Bam! Back to this again. And uh, wrapped in white paper, like, you know, typical taco stuff from Taco Bell is. The waffle taco was such a construction that it had to be placed in a box. So, back to the unwrapping. And there you go. Just, uh, smells like decent fried chicken, actually. Just pulling it out of there and smelling it. It smells pretty good. So there we go. There's your piece of chicken right there. Let's pop that out of there. So yeah, a decent, like, uh, chicken tender, let's say. Let's call that chicken tender. And you can see the kind of tortilla breading going on there. The crust. As we say, of course, there's your biscuit taco shell thing going on right there. So it's basically just a flat biscuit that's been folded over. And uh, yeah, very brittle. I can see the bottom is starting to crack already. As with, uh, you know, a flaky buttermilk biscuit, that's going to happen. Which still blows my f***ing mind why they replaced the waffle, which did have flexibility and some bend to it, with a goddamn biscuit. All right, so boom, there we go. We've got it all back together again. Let me ditch the sleeve real quick. I'm just going to take a chomp out of the smaller end right there. I'll tell you what I think. Way f***ing dry, man. That's what I think of this. But the chicken's very flavorful. Um, the biscuit, flavorless. Extremely dry. I mean, like, over-the-top desert dry. Like, crawling past cactuses and goddamn cow skulls dry. And the chicken itself, it's dry also, but it's so flavorful. The breading on this is incredible. I really like the piece of chicken that they've gone with. And if they can somehow incorporate this chicken into some of their other items, yeah, that'd be pretty decent. Shit, I could see myself just buying a three-piece or something of just these chicken tenders on their own. Yeah, excellent job on the chicken tender itself. You know, I have no complaints. And as I'm eating that by itself without the biscuit, actually it's not such a dry piece of chicken after all. It's actually pretty moist. All right, before we get into the sauce, let's jump back real quick because I've been butchering the name of this thing. The actual name that they've given this is the Chicken Jalapeno Honey Biscuit. So, you really, you need this to completely round off the title that they've given it. So this is the Jalapeno Honey Sauce. Let us go ahead and throw a little bit of that on the tip and see what we got. 
See if it kicks it up a notch, what this does. It definitely has like a fresh honey, like right out of the jar kind of scent going on. I don't really smell any kind of hot sauce per se because the honey's really taken all that over with. Just gonna put a little bit on here. Nah, 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 nah. Bam. Alright, got a little on the tip. Let's hit this one time, see what we got. My first impression of that was absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah, spicy honey. I don't think the world needs that. But there it is. It exists now. And um, yeah, wasn't really digging that and could not wait for the flavor of that chicken and the breading to come back in. Yeah, not a big fan of this sauce at all. It didn't even taste of hot sauce. It just tasted like a extremely putrid honey. So the uh, new Taco Bell chicken biscuit taco, I'm going to guess not bad. But yeah, it's probably never something I'm ever going to buy again. I'm going to give it a solid 3 out of 5. With the sauce, a 2. Moving right along, bam, there's your sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit taco. And you can also get this in a bacon version. And once again, they replaced the waffle taco with this. All right, so there you go. And I don't know. Is that really the same size as the waffle taco was? Anybody out there know? There's only one way to find out. Bring in the waffle taco. Boom, got one of those too. I don't even have to disassemble it. We can just hold it up like that. And we can see, yeah. The waffle taco was definitely the bigger beast of the bunch right there. This is dinky compared to this. I think they're trying to gouge it for the same price on this also. Something like a two and a half. Something like that. Alright, here we go. Sausage, egg, and cheese, biscuit taco, new from Taco Bell. Replacing the waffle taco. Yeah, no. Still, incredibly dry. Even with all that stuff on there, just dry. Why would you replace, you know, like a, a moist springy waffle with that? This crumbly ass mess of dry. And this one in particular, over the top tastes of cheapness. This tastes like every microwavable sausage biscuit that you've ever gotten from like a truck stop or gas station, um, a vending machine, you know, any place with microwavable frozen or refrigerated stuff like that. That's the exact taste that this has overall. It really, it tastes like it just came out of the microwave where, you know, previous to that it had been sitting in a vending machine maybe for like a week and a half. Yeah, this right here is a, a no-go for me. I'm going to give this a high 2 out of 5. But yeah, I can't even get it in the 3 category because if somebody offered me a free one, I wouldn't take it. Boom, once again, the waffle taco no longer available on the menu. Take a whack at this one real quick. Far superior to this. The flexibility, it holds together. Got a nice sweet taste to it. I'm not wearing it. And then again, in the huge craze right now is chicken and waffles. Everywhere you go, everybody wants to jump on the chicken and waffles train. Why the hell would you give us this? A biscuit taco when you already readily available had waffles. You could have put this fried chicken in this waffle and bam, you would have had a winner. Nobody needed this. Alright, so there you have it. It's the jalapeno honey biscuit, chicken, taco, hella long name, and also the sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit taco from Taco Bell. New. Run out, give them a try. Uh, down in the comment section, tell me how completely wrong I am. You can also follow me on Twitter, at the real Mr. Dirty. And uh, so yeah, looks like I'm going to have a hell of a time going and cramming all of this down the garbage disposal. Until then, get out of here and go have a rotten day.